day three, UK lockdown, 2021. Um, I need to get out of my pyjamas, basically. It is half past 12. But first of all, I'm going to put my baby down for his afternoon nap. We just had dinner. And while he's sleeping, I'm going to go outside and get some jobs done. He's asleep. So just while Lennon's sleeping, I've just run out to do the horses' water. Um, it's very frosty last night. Horses are just behind me. Finding or eating what grass I can find. And just while I'm topping up the water, I'm just going to really quickly muck out the stables and what I can of the yard until that water's full. Then I've got to do my chickens. amazing um, over the next couple of days so I'm just gonna fill up extra water buckets while I'm here I'm doing the water now so that if everything goes into like a big freeze the horses have got water so I've done two I'll do another two oh, I'm looking at the chickens as well in a second so I'll just put some clean straw in my wheelbarrow so I'll clean those out and then I'll give the ducks some fresh water as well no rest for the wicked, is there? No rest for the wicked. Oh, I need to give these all a good scrub as well with like a brush. But limited time, people. Limited time. Still sleeping. So um, I'm going proper hard on my prep. So I've just done five water buckets. Then I'm going to fill up the goose bath. Goose bath. It's basically an old bath. No, it's not. It's an old boat um, that I fill up for my geese. Look at all the frozen ice that's just come off it. So I'll just tip that out. I'm going to refill that. I've got to clean out these and refill them. This is the geese going to have, well, to basically make sure everything's got water here um, for the next few days in case everything does freeze because there's nothing worse, is it, than having to boil a kettle and come out. So yeah, just filling up the last of my water now. Horses are, do you know, it's a beautiful day. They should really have their rugs off today and have a nice roll, but they're down the bottom end of the field now. Um, I'm gonna go for a walk with Lowen later and we're gonna walk down across the field. But by then it'll be the afternoon and then it'll start getting cold again. So they're fine. They're not sweating under their rugs. I just, on a day like today where it's cold and dry, I love taking their rugs off so they just roll and get filthy. Um, but I feel like I'm not going to have time later with Lowen to come out. But take, by the time I take the rugs off, I have to put them back on again, basically. So yeah, filling up the last bit of water, do the geese, I've got to muck out the chickens. I've still got to cover the chickens, that is another job to do quickly. Try and do quickly before Lolo wakes up. So um, I've done a bit, I've sort of mucked out that half of the yard, the inside of the field shelter and outside. I've just got um, by the fence over there to do um, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that today. Um, 
I've got other things that need to take priority. But oh shit. Oh shit never really goes anywhere, does it? It's kind of screwed. Do you know what's weird though? Since John Boy's gone home. No, sorry, John Boy's not gone home. Since John Boy's gone out on loan, my baby brain is atrocious. Um it's like less shit. Do you know what I mean? Like less shit to muck out every day. Who would have thought it? Um, so yeah, I got, it's got kind of like less to do. Obviously he was a mammoth of a horse. He had like curves like elephant shit. Um, so yeah, it's a bit easier with one less horse. I'm not gonna lie. Although I miss him like crazy, but I'm loving that Nathan's giving me daily updates. So thanks Nathan. Right, so his chickens out. Four. Lowen wakes up. I'm not a terrible mother, guys. Lowen is with me on his monitor, so I can see him, hear him. I'm just going to start off by sorting out the, <coughs> the ducks on this. Cleaning up the duck pond. By the way, I'm not farting if my phone's vibrating, it's because I'm getting messages that are coming through. Fill up the duck pond, I've got to clean out the duck house. Then I've got to put this tarpaulin on top because the chickens should be undercover. Um, but however, I did read that things their food's undercover because you don't want wild birds mixing with your birds, so I'm going to put nothing over the top. Uh, I haven't got the option to keep them in really. So, hang on. These little ducks are called call ducks and they're very noisy. They're not calling right now, but there you go. So that's Charlie. And um, I can't remember what I called the other two. Let's call them Apricot and Peach for argument's sake. But this is Charlie Jake. And then I've got Spotty, Dotty and Lucky, my little spotty hands. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'm you see dick. And then I've got, well, I don't know, I've forgotten what I called them. I'm gonna call him Ronnie the Rooster and Fanny Fanto. Um, names will change every week, guys, because we generally forget. Well, Dyson, do not wake my fucking child up, dick. So this is... Checked. This is my chicken house, which I made, so their fee food is in there undercover. So this is their corn. And I put a little box in here for them to lay eggs. They've stopped laying eggs since I've moved them. Let me just show you my chickens. Well, my chickens, my ducks, while I go in and get my hay bale. Not my hay bale. Chickens yawn. Get back. the old straw out, haven't I? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think what's happening is I'm putting too much bedding in here because they don't sleep on the floor. The ducks do. So basically, it's gonna work. Any bit of chicken shit. Um, So I'm not going to put as much in, basically, is what I'm saying. Hey, 
haylage is quite, or the hay, is quite soft. The straw I've got at the minute is quite rough. So I'm going to put this in a box. The haylage in a box so they can kind of roost. Roost, lay eggs in this, in theory. A straw in there. Do you see what I did? See, this was the Wendy house, and I put all these perches in. There's another one at the top, and they sit on this one at the top. So they like to roost. Ooh. Bit of chicken shit, we can't have that. Um, so they like to roost up high, the ducks sleep down, but they needed like a nesting box, so I put one kind of in the corner, but I need to get a bigger one. That's fine, I'll sort it out. Anyway, last thing I've got to do. This is their door. But once I wedge it in, like, from the bottom, it's quite sturdy when I've wedged it under the lip. But do you have to make do? I make do of what I've got, like make the best of what I've got here. So I've just got to change the water. Jesus, I don't know, I understand how everything gets all shitty. Like everything. Everything's everywhere. The best with the bit about moving the chickens over this side is um is the sun so it like dries everything out and they've got the sunshine around the back of the caravan where they were um it's still ice it's completely like frozen over and beautiful and clean you'd get in there yourself wouldn't you I don't understand how they get it so hanging but they do so I'm going to speed this up and um, put the tarpaulin on the roof Oh gosh, I did for the chart, but not really for the netting. 
Oh, wow. I'm only little, but it's okay. Right, so. This little knobby thing. So I can pick up a bit. Right here. Using this to lock it down now. Well, I'm actually well proud of. Fuck off, Dyson, Dyson! They're my cable ties, Dyson! Thank you. I need them. Um, I'm going to cut off the excess netting because I don't need that. I think I've read that basically you have to be, you've got to keep like birds the size of pigeons out, which that will do. So I've done undercover for the first bit because um, that's where like the food is, like in the house. So you don't want any like bird shit apparently, something to do with bird shit. And, and then I've netted the rest. Okay, it's not pretty, it's not perfect, but it's done. Um, so yeah, I'm proud of that. That's a job I need to get done. See all the netting above? So yeah. Dog! What are they doing? So yeah, so they've netted, they're happy. They've got food, they've got water. I've just filled in up the... She's knackered me over sewing. I've just filled up the goose bath. And that's it from me, guys. I'm going to take Lohan for a walk when he wakes up. I'm going to have a cup of tea and a cigarette. Um, I go in to take Lohan for a walk, but what I'll do is I will record it. I'll probably share that with you guys tomorrow. Um, or I might even leave my no, I will take my phone with me. I was I might even leave my phone behind and just enjoy me and my baby, but I'm a sucker for pictures. So, um, yeah, I've just got to cut off the excess net. This big garden clear up needs to be done, guys, because everything looks a mess. It's just like. I don't know how I just accumulate so much crap. So obviously I had to move my burning barrel and stuff. And that's the old tarp I was going to use that I couldn't use, so I've got to bag that up to go out to the dump. But yeah, so far, so good. Dog, that is exactly how dogs are going to bite your head off if you put it through there. Stupid. See you later. St oh, oh, I've got to say this. I've just started, um, we just brought out a new hoodie. Um design and I sort of thought I want to share a message and I just think it's a really important message and it was stay home stay safe and stay strong I know loads of people are struggling at the minute with lockdown and um, some of those people that are on their own which is why I'm sort of videoing every day to try and give you guys a little bit of something come on dogs in come on give you something uh, to watch every day you know being a bit being outside but um come on in I just think staying strong is like the, the best advice I could give anybody. So stay home, stay safe, but stay strong. Um, and I will, oh, hang on. I will see you guys all tomorrow. See you later.